Hello, welcome, Kavich here. In War of the Visions, let's have a look at Asada Dolph's Guild Battle Tier List Ranking. Uh, what this is, is that uh, Asada Dolph, he is one of the, uh, the most prominent uh, figures in the, uh, the JP War of the Visions community. And he's also very involved in high-level guild battle. Uh, he will kind of look at what people are using, and then he'll think about like what's really strong, and then he'll make a uh, tier list like this. And then a characters towards the top are the ones that he feels are stronger or who he sees more. Uh, characters towards the bottom are ones that he never sees in high-level guild battle. And then this list he made about a month after Final Fantasy VII came out. So uh, yeah, full month after Tifa and Cloud, and then about two weeks after Aerith and Barret. And then, of course, there are some uh, differences between uh, Global and JP, like different characters have uh, EX jobs or not, and I'll be sure to uh, mention that. And then I think I said this in the last time I did this uh, Guild Battle tier list ranking, uh, but Global and JP are different enough now that this is kind of not as useful as it was before. Um, so I'll tell you like what uh, JP players were feeling at this time, uh, but I'll also be asking questions about how these units are performing now in Global. Okay, but first we'll start with a meta defining. That might be a surprise up there up front, but that is Kiton. <laughs> there was a lot of uh, kind of high level PvP, uh, like in JP live streams or hosted by uh, JP YouTubers. And uh, Kiton really made an impact uh, in those matches, and so a lot of people started using her, and she was very strong. I was wondering though, like how often people use her or see her uh, in Global. And can I say here that I'm always disappointed that the videos that I put up of high-level JP PvP is not watched more, uh, because I feel like that information is the, the juiciest information available from the JP server. Like, anybody can look at numbers on paper, uh, but to really watch characters in battle to look at how they perform, I think that's much more informative. And I say this all the time, but every character is good, and then seeing them in battle, uh, they always look, they always perform better than they look on paper. So I think it's really important to uh, watch those, and I'll put links to those in the comments. <laughs> All right, next we got the old standbys, Mont, Helena, and Dwayne. I think for a couple months now at least, uh, we've not had a lot of variety in the, uh, the top of uh, PvP. But I looked at the announcement of Final Fantasy VII in JP, and I saw all of the different elements and all of the different attack types in there. And I thought, okay, now they're really going to try to open up uh, the meta, try to get the game closer to Golden Time, like I mentioned before. And that turned out to be true. We're going to see more uh, variety of teams uh, going forward. And leading the way are Tifa and Cloud. Tifa is amazing as a handout unit. Super duper solid. Uh, I don't think she's better than 2B. <laughs> uh, but just with the, uh, the timing, uh, I think everybody's using her. She's easier to get and then level than 2B. And then also she was getting all of the, uh, the bonuses uh, for like arena points and stuff during this time. So that's probably why Asadotol put uh, Tifa up there. And I think most people's minds are made up about what to do about Final Fantasy VII, but if there's anyone like waffling, like maybe they're thinking of skipping VII completely, or maybe they just want to do like one character, uh, Tifa is my number one recommendation for everyone. She's top class and she's a handout unit, so yeah. You don't have to feel like you need to pair her with 2B, or like you can't use Tifa if you don't have 2B and the vision card. Uh, Tifa is pretty terrific uh, by herself. All right, and then we got Cloud, and I would say still he's maybe the best cost 90 unit in the game. Uh, I remember this time in uh, JP, this was after the, uh, the cost 100 rush, and then people were very upset about the uh, cost 100 units. And then if you look at the history of Cloud in like uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, like every time he would be released, uh, they would announce a new form, and so everybody in JP was freaking out like, oh god, Cloud is coming, are they going to make like, you know, a cost 120 unit or like a 7 star or something? I feel like Cloud does perform like a cost 100 unit, and he might have originally been a cost 100 unit, but they saw the outcry of the, uh, the cost 100 
boycott and stuff in JP. So they might have lowered his cost to 90, or they might have changed the whole cost system. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Cloud, he punches above his weight. And anybody who's going for him, uh, you are not wrong. All right, next we got uh, Triple S. Uh, let's see, Gilgamesh. He's turned out to be one of the best investments in the game, but he's super good. King Mont is really kind of the only one that he runs into trouble against, but against everyone else, he does pretty well. Uh, 2B, still one of the best units in the game. Uh, we got Christmas Victora. I'll talk about her when she gets her release in Global, her EX job. Uh, next, we got Valentine Salia, still a great unit. And uh, again, I want to ask Global players if they've been seeing her or if they've been using her. I think she's a really good unit. And then we have Charlotte, who may be the best tank in the game right now, but I think a lot of that comes from uh, being paired with Cloud. And that's a great uh, duo. Uh, and it's a duo so strong, you can kind of pair them with anybody. I talk about uh, Dwayne and Helena being kind of a very strong duo where they don't even need like a third character. Uh, Cloud and Charlotte are maybe the closest thing to that as well. And also uh, 2B and Tifa, uh, if you can really work on their uh, evade. But yeah, if you use any of those duos, uh, don't feel obligated to stick to the element that they are. You can really pair them with anybody, so mix it up. Okay, next we got to SS tier. Uh, we got Veneta there. She was better than I was expecting. Uh, I took her to 120 and I started using her and I was like, okay, she's pretty good. <laughs> and then Evade will always be a threat, uh, especially if you're not ready for it. All right, then we got Yuna. She's kind of dropped a little bit. Still one of the best characters in the game, I would say. Maybe number two after Dwayne uh, for most well-rounded. And then we got uh, Auron and Velric, uh, Ice Slash. That's a great combo in this game, still very strong. Uh, Garble hanging out at 99. Christmas Mashidi. Uh, Jiza, she still has her niche with her uh, strike attacks. Uh, Tita, maybe the second best handout unit now after Tifa. <laughs> and we got Federica, she is strong. Warrior of Light, he's very solid as well. Not ranked as high as Mont, just because Mont can do so many other things other than just tank. And 9S, also a great handout unit. Christmas Vineta, we'll skip that. Ah, Aerith. This is the video where Asadotl said Yuna and Aerith were about the same, and I was like, what? <laughs> uh, if I were to make this list, I would put Aerith into S next to Barrett. Uh, I made a review of her recently. I compared her to an Amude. I did a bunch of Arena videos of her. Uh, she's fun, but she's not great. I'm sure she uh, dropped in the future tier list. And then uh, speaking of an Amude, there she is. I'm not going to make a uh, level 120 review of Demude. I think the video that I made uh, comparing her to Aerith is going to be good enough. But an excellent unit. Uh, however, she's not going to be excellent in every team. It's not just like a uh, plug-and-play character, like a Cloud or something. Uh, she needs to work well with the, uh, the units, and then the map, and then the enemy that you're going against. Uh, but if all of those things line up, she's great. And then Muraga, one of the most fun characters to use. And uh, yeah, are people using him? Have folks taken him to level 115 or 120 and have they tried him out? I've had a lot of fun with him. Uh, the last time that I got uh, top 30 in Arena, I did use him as a tank in some teams. Uh, but at a certain point, he wasn't able to keep up uh, with like the top ranked stuff. I think maybe when I got to top 100, he just wasn't uh, getting the job done anymore. And then I changed over to Megamond. But yeah, he is great. I'm still using him today. Okay, and then we get down to S tier, and these are really kind of the last characters I'm going to talk about. Uh, these appear infrequently in guild battle, while kind of A and below really don't appear at all. <laughs> uh, but Rain and Laswell, I think this was after they got their EX jobs. I feel like they're underrated units, both in uh, JP and Global. Maybe not Global. Rain got his uh, EX job early. And then we got some win characters, and then, let's see, Rob and Edode, they've kind of uh, slipped down the ranks. And so have uh, Stern and Super Stern. At this point of guild battle, they really only live on mono dark teams. And then, like, a combo that I saw a lot was Helena, Dwayne, and Cloud. And if you have a chance to use Cloud instead of Stern or Super Stern, 
Uh, people are going to do that. Uh, but Nivlu is still good with the status effects. Sasayaki, not great for a guild battle. She was very popular for a time. She could be a good partner with uh, Helena and Dwayne. And then Engelbert. I think this is post-EX jobs, uh, but people still haven't caught on to how good he is, but he will explode in the, uh, the coming months. And then uh, Christmas, Ramada. I think she's too high on the list. And then we have uh, Luel and Mua. This is kind of sad to see them down here. They're really good, uh, but they're a little bit situational, and then they're totally uh, overshadowed by Helena, so yeah, they're down there. And then we have Barrett. I think he's a fun character. Uh, I'll do a level 120 review of him in a uh, few days. But yeah, not easy to use at all. And then finally, a Camiro. He's good, uh, but Asadoto was saying just nobody uses him, so that's why he's down in S. <laughs> Okay, and then we got A tier. I don't think there's anything to say here. Uh, let's see. Corwell. How do global players like Corwell? I guess he's not popular at all in JP. And then B tier. Nothing to say here either. Uh, swimsuit units did not have EX jobs uh, at this point. I'd be interested to uh, hear how often you see these characters in high level PvP as well. And then C tier. Nothing to say here. Skull and Miranda. They actually had their own tier, D tier. Uh, but I thought that was a waste of space, so I just put them up in uh, C. <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, snapshot of what uh, high-level guild battle was looking like in JP or after the release of Final Fantasy VII. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out in global. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.